Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna be showing you exactly how you can be live streaming mobily using the Streamlabs mobile app. Big thanks to Streamlabs for sponsoring this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So to get started with Streamlabs mobile, you just wanna to go to your respective app store, type in Streamlabs, if I can spell it right here. Streamlabs, search that. And then you will find Streamlabs live streaming app. This is the one you want. So go ahead and download that. So once you have the Streamlabs mobile app downloaded, go ahead and go into it and I will show you how to set it up very quickly. It does not take long. So you just want it next on this welcome screen. It will ask you what you are gonna be using it for, whether streaming, you're streaming your camera or your games. So let me go ahead and click uh, stream your games um, for, for this example. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. We're gonna go ahead and enable our camera and microphone and allow it access and then continue through the rest of these uh, you know basic things. So once you've downloaded and opened the Streamlabs mobile app, you're gonna see a screen about like this. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and flip it sideways just so that it's um, a larger screen for you guys, as well as this is, might be how you're gonna to wanna to hold your camera um, when streaming uh, normally so that you don't get those black bars on the side like you can see right here. Um, of course, there's a lot of black bars on the side um, with the vertical, but if you do go landscape like that, it's a little bit better. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and flip the camera here so you can kind of see me. It is gonna be a little bit um laggy compared to the main camera and recording here um in regards to my audio but just bear with me i'm going to point out some stuff here so first up um we're going to need to log in and connect an account which we're going to do with this button right up here so let's go ahead and hit go ahead and hit that button on the top left and then you're going to want to hit account settings and then you're going to want to log in with whichever platform you want to live stream to okay so now i have connected my twitch and my youtube which is my two favorite platforms for streaming personally um but we're going to go ahead and go back and you're going to see you will have all of these settings here now if you didn't click the back and get to these settings all you have to do is again click that top left part um, and it will bring you to this screen once you have connected an account. So from here, you're gonna have a lot of options. If you don't have this many options, there will be a thing that says uh, switch to advanced mode. You might need to click that, um, but then you should have all of these options. So we can go ahead and get started um, with some of these. Uh, the first thing I'll cover is the screen capture. Now, if you're wanting to stream mobile games, of course, you're gonna need to capture your mobile screen. So you wanna just hit screen capture and it will um, ask you to link uh, whichever platform you want to use. So again, I linked my Twitch, so let me go ahead and select that. So then it'll give you this. Um, you can hit save on that. Um, and it does give a disclaimer here, which I wanted to make sure I mentioned. Um, on iOS, widgets are unavailable during screen capture and will not appear on your stream. So that means on iOS or like an iPhone device, um, you will not be able to see your widgets and overlays and alerts and, and stuff like that when you are streaming your um, actual phone screen or mobile device screen through screen capture if you're trying to stream games. Now, if you are streaming on iOS or an iPhone, um, you know, real life camera stuff and you're not streaming your screen, it will have all the overlays and stuff. But if you are on Android, you don't have to worry about that. It should show all of your overlays, widgets, and things like that, um, even if you are sharing a game on your screen. So from here, it will give you an option to go live right from the app. So let's go ahead and hit that red button there. Now, what you're gonna notice here is that it is showing that I'm streaming or I currently have uh, my screen broadcast on with the screen link. Um, this is what I'm using to just record this video. Um, so I'm not gonna stop that, but I will show you if you scroll down here uh, to your Streamlabs, this is where you wanna click that and then start the broadcast there. And if you want your microphone on, make sure you do select the microphone on on the right um, and turn that on. And then that's how you start the broadcast and it will start streaming your screen to Twitch or wherever you're trying to stream to. Um, but that's how you do that. And if you don't have this thing pop up, to where it allows you to do that. All you need to do is make sure um, that screen recording is enabled in your control center. And then you just need to swipe down from the top right or wherever and open this menu. And then as you can see, I have the red recording dock because I'm actually recording now, but you wanna just do a long press, press and hold on that. And it, you'll get to the same exact menu where you can just start streaming your screen right from that. Now that we have screen capture out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the editor. So we're just gonna click editor right here. Um, now we do have pre-made layouts, which I wanna go ahead and show you guys. You do have a portrait and a landscape orientation so let's go ahead and click uh, landscape orientation and apply layout so this will give you a basic layout um, to get started with now I personally like to leave my chat box here on the left um, but maybe move this alert box up here to the left and then keep my event list um, on the right about like that actually top right is where I like it so you can really just play with this just how you want for your stream adjust the size as well things like that and then you can click 
or click save on the top left and it will save it. But let's go ahead back into it and go to the top right where it says layers. You wanna hit that. It will show you all of your layers of your different widgets and overlays. But we're gonna go ahead and hit the plus and I'll just show you some of the options that you do have here. So the first thing you're gonna see is add a theme. Now, if you have Prime, you can add many of these different themes, which are very nice to add a personal touch um, to your live streams and make them stand out. And below that you have add a widget. Now these are gonna be things like your alert box, your chat box, um, event list, and also add things like um, a viewer count, follower goal, uh, donation goals, and some other things like that on there. So those are very cool. Um, you can also add different graphics, stream labels, and custom items are actually very useful. If you have something like a stat overlay, like I have used before on Warzone to show your live Warzone stats, you can add a URL and do it through that, I'm sure. Um, you can also upload an image from your device. So if you have a logo, your own logo or something you wanna upload that you have a file of, you can put that on there. Um, you can also add custom text, which is really nice. Now if we go back to this screen, I'm just gonna show you quickly some recommended settings um, for your actual stream. So you wanna come down here on the bottom left and go to streaming. Um, and you're gonna have the default settings here, which are 720p, 30 FPS at 2500 uh, bit rate. So I'm gonna recommend, if as long as your internet connection is uh, pretty good, and this will depend on your internet connection and whether you're connected to Wi-Fi or if you are streaming like truly mobily where you are not even connected to Wi-Fi and you're on something like LTE um, or something like that. Um, these settings will be different depending on those variables, but I'm gonna recommend if you're on Wi-Fi with you know good internet, um, changing this to 1080p, uh, 60 FPS for the frame rate, and then the video bit rate I would recommend on 6,000. That's usually what I recommend across the board, whether you're streaming mobily or not. Um, these are probably the best, most standard settings now, as long as you have a good enough connection to handle it. Um, but those are what I'm gonna recommend here. Um, but again, adjust those to your liking and ability, but there are other settings here I'm not gonna get into in this video, but if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll be sure to get back with you. A couple other things I wanted to cover very quickly is themes. Now, if you do have the Prime, um, again, we do have the, all the themes here, which I covered um, earlier. They are only for if you have Streamlabs Prime, which if you do have the Streamlabs Prime for your desktop version, it will also translate over um, to your Streamlabs mobile version, I do believe, so that is nice. But uh, one other thing I wanted to cover after that was the rewards they have here beside themes. So say you're not a uh, Prime member, you can still earn some different things um, and features you can unlock by just basically using the app and streaming. Um, as you can see, I apparently have 430 points just from playing around on it here. Um, but yeah, you can you just get um, points for doing these different tasks and just streaming in general. Uh, like getting a viewer, I haven't got one yet because I haven't really streamed using this yet. Um, but that would give me 50 points. And then if you click redeem here on the right, um, you can actually claim um, a bronze theme. Um, you can multi-stream, which allows you to stream on both Twitch and YouTube, for example, or whichever platforms, um, which that can be really nice and useful. Um, you can remove the watermark for 200 points, um, disconnect protection for 150 and so on, uh, as well as other themes. But that's a nice little reward system so that um, as you stream and gain some of these points, which really aren't too hard to get, um, you can unlock some of these other features and things. I'll leave a link in the description to the Streamlabs Prime membership if you are interested and wanna check out more about that, I'll leave it in the description. So once you've got everything set up and ready to go, all you need to do is click go live right here because your account's already connected to whatever platform. Um, if you don't wanna select that and you wanna make sure it's streaming your game, you can again slide down Hold down your control center and go to Streamlabs, click that, and then it'll say start broadcast. And again, make sure the microphone is on if you want it recording, but I do not in this case, because I'm just uh, recording with my other microphone through this other screen link thing. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, Streamlabs, start broadcast there, and then it should go live on Twitch pretty much. And uh, yeah, I think that's really it for this video. Thank you once again, Streamlabs, for sponsoring this video. Now, if anybody has any questions about how to use Streamlabs Mobile or anything about it, just leave a comment below and I'll try to do my best to reply to most of them. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.